I'm off to pick some herbs, shove them in some eau de vie and see what we get. Little bit of St. John's wort. That, uh, what else have we got next to it? A bit of yarrow. Again, the kind of bitterness. It's got that thujoni taste to it. So I think that's a sort of herbally taste. We'll grab a bit of that. Just a little bit of red clover. Now, I'm grinning. I'm grinning because I've never, well, I've once found some in Italy. And in fact, just over that mountain, just there, is where I've last found it. So it makes sense that it's here again. And that was, what, two, three years ago or something like that. And I so this is the first time I've seen wormwood in flower and um, I am genuinely very, very excited about finding it. But the smell, I mean the smell of all of this, that alone in a drink. So just pick some cotton thistle from, that's bug walk for you, never know. So it's wild lettuce. Um, I find it a bit trippy. Someone did die from overdosing on it, so be careful. But for this infusion right now, it should have a desired sort of small opiate-like effect and a kind of bitter flavour to it as well. But this is Rose Bay Willow Herb. This one here, let's have a taste. Each spruce and you can use the needles of spruce and Nice. You can use the needles of spruce and um, pine over there. Spruce and pine um, infused to get a kind of citrony flavour. Citrus lemon flavour. A few different spruce tips, a few different types of spruce, um, and have that as a kind of myriad of flavours. Hmm. Yeah, they do all work very differently. There we go, we've got it. We've got 12 different herbs. I've got sumac, some spruce, a bit of wormwood, rose bay widow herb, St. John's wort, wild lettuce, wormwood, no, not wormwood, sorry, um, mugwort, and wild carrot, another bit of different type of spruce, and red clover, yarrow, and some cotton thistle. Now each of these will add something different, so I'm going to put them in one by one. This should have a little bit of trippiness. That's been infusing for I don't know, an hour or two hours, but long enough. You get some flavour come through. Um, I'm going to filter it through a coffee filter. It's not too bad. So I'll do a little shot and get an idea of the flavour. And the worm was very strong in fact. I'm going to try this. Stir in a bit of sugar. Just to take that bitterness away. And I think maybe with a little bit of kombucha as well. This is So I don't know if all 12 are coming through. Certainly overpowering with the one. But... I think there's something there, you know. Let's try another. Definitely, like the bitterness is too strong, so, so I want to say, kind of bring that back down again. Um, so it's all a question of getting the balance right. And okay, like it's worth having an aperitif. You want something quite bitter and quite kind of. Um, complex like that. There's something that got that herbally, thajoni, like definitely absinthe taste coming through. You've got the flavour of uh, the citron, so you've got the flavour of the spruce tips coming through. The wild carrot played down a little bit, so there's a small little arrow through it, I'd say, of the aniseed definitely there too bit of mugwort, tiny bit of yarrow. I think, oh, the wild lettuce. Wait to see what the effects of that are like. This is very nice, it's very nice indeed. Cheers. Now that 
that's perfect.